Hi, I'm Kevin Maltz. As you may know now, you can watch many short films on YouTube, and I think this is an indication that the online video media is maturing past sophomore eclipse into something far richer this video and uh, cinematic. And uh, I had the pleasure just days ago of posting a short film uh, that uh, I can't take full credit for. Uh, in fact, it was a uh, collaborative effort uh, with myself and many uh, popular uh, YouTubers you know well, Zipster and, and Nut Cheese and uh, you know lesser known people like uh, Mr. Safety and uh, What the Buck. And uh, I wanted to give you an opportunity to hear from the people that uh, participated in this collaboration uh, about the experience, about the intent of the film, and about the meaning. Uh, and this is uh, my short uh, behind-the-scenes documentary. Well, I don't think it can be overstated, uh, the importance of what we did with that video. I mean, you talk about breaking barriers, but this, this was so much bigger than that. This was, this was breaking universes. When Kevin suggested the idea for this film, I was floored by his genius. When Nolte approaches you for a video, you, you, you can never say no. When I first wrote the book, I was living in the south of France, so of course it was written in French. And when Nortz approached me and told me that he had this idea to have Michael Buckley, you know, what the buck do a rewrite, I wasn't really thrilled about the prospect, because I mean, what the buck's not exactly known for his writing. I'm very comfortable writing about entertainment, obviously, but I was looking for a creative stretch. When I found Zipster's book, I couldn't put it down. It begged to be a short film, and I had a hunch that I could compel some of the greatest entertainers on YouTube to read for parts. Who was the most difficult character to depict? I forget the names, that was two days ago. I don't even know, you just told me to read a sheet and I read it. I mean, it's the standard that all standards will be standardized against. Uh, does The Dark Knight deserve an Oscar? I don't know. Is it better than an alts video? Obviously, Corey, Mr. Safety Williams had to direct. I wouldn't have done it any other way. <laughs> have you seen Mean Kitty in high definition? It's life-changing. Well, the reason why I composed and scored the music for this Tortufa and Periquit, I guess that's how you pronounce it, uh, WTF, is because the same reason why I would compose any other music for any other television show, Hispanic or not. Is there anything you drew upon, any experience? If you're trying to get me to say that I went to Spain for a semester, I did. I've had people say to me, are you the turtle? Are you married to the parakeet? <laughs> it's not narrative, sure, some character development is based on people I know, but it's fiction. It's good fiction. It's not Shakespeare or Hemingway, but, you know, I don't want to sound arrogant, but it is definitely at the level of you know, Judy Bloom or Hardy Boys. I just did it. I'm good at it. I, I wanted to make the green screen as dirty as possible, because obviously you're not going to have parrots and turtles humping on screen. So you have to allude to the dirtiness of the videos. Sometimes the best film ideas come about from sharp blows to the head, but not this time. My role in this collaboration was a key grip. And to be honest with you, this project would have been nothing without me. But um, I gotta tell you, when I did read it, and it was translated into um, Spanish, I was just thrilled with the outcome, and I'm very proud to be part of this um, project. Um, however little my part may have been, even though I did create the whole idea in the first place. I turned this video into a work of art. Pure art. Ultimately, innovation was our goal with this film. I don't know if that word means, but I think we've achieved it. But in scene A12, where Pedro and Rosa are kissing, you know, starting their night off, that wasn't the original score I came up with. Well. I came up with it, but it wasn't my intended score. It wasn't. It didn't have the right feel to it. Oh, Rosa, te quiero así. Y te quiero, Pedro. Okay, no. You know, you gotta give Nolte's merits. You know, when it comes to foul and reptile porn, he's the king. But, 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 but the thing is, with the scene where Juan and Bonita 
They were swimming. It was such a dark and passionate scene. The track we had there originally just didn't work out, which is sad because I had John Williams and the Boston Pops help out. You know, actually, I thought it was the worst idea since Fabio, but hey, it's Kevin. It's Nolts. When Nolts calls, you know, you answer the phone. About a year ago, I proclaimed that collaborative video projects uh, was a dead medium. Everything that could be done had been done. Uh, but Nolts really revived the entire genre, and he did it with class and style, elegance, and without a single fart joke. Fertile worms, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, I'm going on Facebook, that video is stupid. Wait, I forgot what we're doing. I forgot what you're thinking about, I'm afraid of.